Hey everyone, so I ran into the benchmark between the five latest Sony smartphones to release, which are on the bottom row here, and then four of the best smartphones released in 2016. So we have here the Xperia XA, the Xperia X, the Xperia X Performance, the Xperia Z5, the Xperia Z5 Premium, the LG G5, the Galaxy S7 Edge, uh, the HTC 10, and the iPhone SE. So we're just going to get right to it. I'm going to go to lowest, the highest score. Now, coming in last place, unsurprisingly, is the Xperia XA. So not surprising that this phone came in last place. Uh, this is the low end of the X series. It only has 2GB of RAM and a MediaTek Helio P10 processor. So let me show you real quick in the ranking. Pretty far down the list. Let's go into detail. Alright. So 8th place is the recently released Xperia X. Again, this is also a mid-ranger, but a big step up from the XA. Uh, it has a Snapdragon 650 and 3 of RAM. So let's go into the ranking. This is about on par with uh, high-end phones that came out two years ago. Seventh place is the Xperia Z5 Premium. So this came out last year, a uh, score of 89,000, almost 90,000. Snapdragon 810 with 3GB of RAM. Here it is on the list. Let's go into the details. Alright. And 6th place, the Xperia Z5. Again, it says 3GB of RAM, uh, Snapdragon 810. A uh, score of 92,000. Now, this is the highest I've actually uh, gotten on it personally. Um, so, it is a, a few thousand higher than the X, uh, rather, it is a few thousand higher than the Z5 Premium. Um, but don't really put much stock in this because every time you run into Tudor, it's going to be different. Usually, I get the high 80,000s on this. Same with the uh, Z5 Premium. Let's go into the rankings. So again, guys, you can expect to get high 80,000s, low 90,000s for both the Z5 and the Z5 Premium. Quickly show you the detail. All right, so fifth place is the iPhone SE. Now, this has an Apple A9 chipset. Of course, we're talking about iOS here, but it has 2 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, Apple really knows how to use that, though. So, a very impressive score of 123,000. And let's look at the ranking. Alright, so just Apple products, you see right behind the success there at 125,000. And quickly go into detail. Alright, so fourth place, how is the Xperia X Performance going to stack up versus three of the best smartphones released this year? Fourth place is the LG G5. So you see here a score of 137,500. And the ranking versus other phones. Go into the detail. Now this, uh, you're getting into the Snapdragon 820 territory and 4 gigabytes of RAM. So, the Xperia X Performance came in third place here, a score of 137,554. See how that stacks up. Go into the detail. And since I'm sure a lot of you want to see uh, a little more in depth for the X Performance, I'll just go into the info, show you all this. So this does have a Snapdragon 820, but only 3GB of RAM, whereas the LG 5, the Galaxy S7 Edge, um, and the HTC 10 all have 4GB. So people are wondering how that would affect it, and really not much, if any. It's in definitely in the same week as those three. I'll get to the other two in a second. Alright, so now for second place. So second place goes to the Galaxy S7 Edge. You're going to see that the score is really similar to the one you just saw. So a score of 137,708. 
Uh, only about, check that again, I think it was around 150 off or so. Yeah, so really close there. And of course, every time you run these, you're going to get different scores. Uh, never get the same score on this. Let's see the ranking? Well, not sure what happened there. All right, so that just leaves us with first place, which is the HCC 10. And again, uh, pretty similar score to the other two, but you see a jump here. 139,655 is going to the ranking. Sorry about the trains in the background, guys. So first place, details. All right. And again, it says a Snapdragon 820 and four gigabytes of RAM. All right, guys, so I hope that you all found this helpful. Uh, let me know if there's any type of benchmarks you want me to run. But I think the, the story here is that the uh, X performance, definitely in the same league as the other high-end phones released this year. Um, the XA, pretty unimpressive, but that's what you can expect with that price range. And then the X, I think, is pretty solid considering just as a Snapdragon 650. Hey, guys, so I decided to run the Xperia X performance benchmark again. Uh, see if I can get a higher score, and nonetheless, I did a score of 139,302. Now, this is the third time I did it. Uh, the first time was yesterday, and it was after a bunch of use, a bunch of downloads. The phone was uh, had a lot of use in it, and it got around a score of 120,000. Uh, the second time was earlier today, which you saw in the video. And this was the third time, so the phone's been uh, sitting for a few hours now. Not much use, and you see there is a score. So, let me go into the rankings. So you see first place there, go into the detail. So again guys, the takeaway is you're going to get uh, about the same performance with this phone as you would any other one on the market. Alright guys, thanks again for watching.